Okay, so he's so got, he's some got lots of wounds. This is likely from another guinea pig it's fighting. He's oh. got them all over his body. Oh, all hands on deck. So how are you feeling about all this? I'm angry. I'm very angry because they lied. Hey, it's Scotty. So there was a crazy hoarding situation in Las Vegas, sadly, coincidentally, with somebody that in the past I helped facilitate adoptions, but apparently their uh, intake of animals got out of control. Uh, I don't want to try to summarize because we're headed right now to Anne's house, and Anne has been uh, someone who I've worked with several times on uh, the abandoned pet shop rescue and a bunch of other uh, situations where she was able to get animals from a bad situation to a good one. Well, um, so coincidentally, actually, just to set this up, uh, Anne and the person who was involved in this hoarding situation, they were in contact because that person saw some of the uh, fluffy girl piggies that were in that abandoned pet shop video and said that she wanted to adopt them. And so Anne and this person had been corresponding through that. She uh, helped, uh, she took those animals to her and, uh, you know, we thought she was a really uh, good um, caregiver that was offering a good home but it just turns out that actually she has been hoarding lots of animals and not giving them proper care. And all of this came to a head just the other day. So I sort of have my head wrapped around what happened, but we're headed out now to Ann's house to see she was able to rescue 40 of these over 100 animals that were in really bad situation. So we're gonna go do health checks uh, assess the situation, strategize, um, and we'll hear it from Anne about exactly what happened, how this unfolded. Anne's daughter, Megan, also was instrumental in uh, getting the authorities involved and getting these animals uh, out of the hands of, or out of danger and into, uh, many of them are at animal control right now at the animal shelter. So we're going to find out exactly what's going on. Uh, so we're on the way to Ann's house right now. And we'll pick this story up when we get there. And, of course, Valerie is here with me because, uh, you know, representing Southern California Guinea Pig Rescue, we're going to see uh, how the local, how our local rescues can, can help these animals. How did you know to go there? Or, like, what was the first, what's... How, what was the first action that got all of these piggies saved? She, There's 40 piggies here, right? 38. 38. 30, 38. No, yes. None died. Yeah. We, yeah. we didn't know because there was two cages. We, Mom and Dad separated males from females just to get them fed and, and matched. You, are you okay being yeah. being in? Yeah, yeah okay. so there was all the females and males got separated. So we... It, Good luck trying to count that many in a cage. Um, so yesterday is when we really got everybody separated and kind of situated and calmed, and that's when we figured out there's 22 females and 16 males, total of 38. Okay. And we've got them all separated by yes. boys and girls now. Well, and who, yeah, and who's getting along with who. Valerie, do yeah. you have pictures of the remainder of the, the guinea pig? She posted one picture, the lady in charge of that animal control so how did you know to go there and get them the past 10 days she's been saying that or maybe a little longer the neighbors have been the next door neighbor who's 87 years old yeah was um stalking her just watching every move and called animal control and then um animal control came they wanted to, to the house. They wanted to go to the house and see. And Is it, you don't want to be on camera? No, I'll just talk. Okay. And they said that um, they were going to come back. Animal control was going to come back. Yes, and that's when she confided in me that she had 
an overabundance of animals. And I said, what? Did she say how many she had at the no, time? No, she wouldn't tell me how many. She just said a lot. And I said, okay. I said, um, These are the boys, huh? Yes. Okay. And um, I told her that, you know, we would help her. I would help her. Whatever I could do, I would help her. And she said, no, no, no. And I said, you know, every day I asked her, I asked her. And I said, well, I said, I'm not going to, I'm not going to beg you. You just let me know, you know, when you need help. And then she called me the next day and she said, I need your help. And I said, okay, we'll be there. So we got the cages in the, in the suburban. So we went to Vegas and yep. um, met them. And... Um, we had to go into a parking structure, whatever, because it was so really you, windy. So you met them at, just in a parking garage? At, yeah, we, we waited two hours, over two hours. And they brought the animals there? They had them in little, like, purse carriers in a tote with clothes on top of it. Forty of them? Thirty-eight. Thirty-eight? Bullet bags. <laughs> and so you took all of the ones that she brought them? Everything that was in the car, we took. Okay. And who knows and what kind of a had, situation they'd be in. her little dog that was dying. And I begged her. I said, please, take it to the vet. It can't breathe. She goes, oh, no, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I said, I'll take it to the vet. And she said, no. So. And then what happened the next morning, Mom, when you talked to her? The dog died. And it was like oh. skin and bones because I went over to touch her and stuff. And There's more pigs scared. over in that cage. Yes. yes. Go ahead. There's there's pigs in this cage, in this cage, in this these, cage. These guys down here. Oh, I didn't even see the ones yeah. down here. Let's get these guys out. Look oh. at these guys are all getting along pretty well in their little tunnel. So the good news is that Saskia, the LA Guinea Pig Rescue can take all the girls. They've calmed down a lot. Okay. So and they they have uh, a setup where they can all have their babies. We can sp split all of the pregnant mamas up. They can all have babies safely, and they will have a really good chance of finding good homes. Um, and then, of course, you know, the rescue, we really screen and educate to try to find, you know, good homes, make sure that people have proper cage setups and mm -hmm. good food and, and, and also uh, a community and, like, a resource. They can always come back to us if they ever need to relinquish their piggies they have to go back to the rescue and so they'll all be safe and we've got to figure out then where the boys are going to go but yeah what we need to do is really saskia needs help with the fundraising for these so is this these boys or girls in here these These, girls. They're, this one looks almost like a satin to me, which makes me nervous. She's very shiny and beautiful. This one down here. Oh my gosh. Valerie, there's your fluffy one. I saw the fluffy one. Skinny no pigs. <laughs> Joe, Joe Dirt. Okay. So, Valerie, are you going to do nail clips and things down there? Just offer him some love and do his nails. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. No. Okay. What's your assessment of? Okay, so he's so got he's got branches. lots of wounds. This is likely from another guinea pig it's fighting. He's oh. got them all over his body. But piggies are pretty resilient as far as being able to make a full recovery, yeah. whether or not he's traumatized. He also probably, like, he could use a bath. Yeah. But it's so cold, I wouldn't do that Let's right see now. his face. Oh. He's cold. What did we name him? Joe Dirt? Joe Dirt. <laughs> That's Joe Dirt. Yeah, he doesn't, he, he's pretty... He's thin. He's pretty skittish. He's skittish. He's thin. I'll let the expert hold him. He's been through some... He's shivering the entire time. Yeah. Well, something I'm curious about is, like, how long did it take you guys to build all these cages? <laughs> Fred, Fred you, 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 you built all these cages in, like, a day? No, we had... Oh, no, we had some. One, oh, okay. You, this one he built and David built last night. You had these things. Yeah, we okay. you, know, you buy these 
Yeah. The square is in a box full of them. Yeah. We had enough left to make another one. So. Well. And then a friend of mine runs a local dog rescue. They are letting us borrow a lot of the other. Because pets. I would think in an emergency situation like this, they would just all be in pet store cages, and you've set them up in some really nice accommodations. So. But all hands on deck. So how are you feeling about all this? I'm angry. I'm very angry. Because they lied. Yeah. It, it breaks my heart because I've and, been corresponding with them mm -hmm. for years. And yep. even, even a couple months ago, they sent me pictures of um, two little Yorkshire Terriers at my local shelter. And I like went to find out about them and all this stuff. And... You know, they didn't end up adopting them because they found some other ones closer to them. No, because they had to fill out paperwork. They didn't want to know anybody okay. to know. Well, again, even more deception because they yeah. said, oh, we're not going to get those. We found some other ones closer to us. And... Yeah. Yeah. Hi. Hi. You made all this mess in one day. You made all this mess in 12 hours. <laughs> okay, yeah, so the plan is let me just the plan is on Wednesday I will take all the girls. So what I've got to figure out is what I'm gonna put them in. I can probably put them in um boxes or if there is because I can probably um how many different uh, cages are girls right now. This, this, this. Boys are back here. So there's so this four. this side is all girls. And are there girls that don't get along? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, so we want to keep them in the groups that they're in. Well, and I, I mean, it, we don't really know because they weren't getting along, but it was probably because they were all so hungry and thirsty. Yeah. And now, separating them, it, it's doing a lot better. Because for the ride, They'll be good. and for the ride, we'll want to put them in, in, you know, obviously the smallest carrier or whatever that we can put them in to fit 20 in my car. And as soon as they get to the rescue, they'll, uh, 22. we have cages 22. already set up. 22. Okay. Oh, hi, Missy. Yeah, we're, did you just yawn and say hi? I did. So 22 females, but the skinnies, the skinnies will go. They're, they'll go to Vegas where they have the best opportunity of actually being adopted over there. Alright, this one. This one. Well, she's gorgeous, but she's skin and bones. Feel yeah. that? Yeah, I can feel her ribs. Feel her right ribs, there. her hip bones. But yeah. she's got a belly, so she's pregnant. Well, that's yeah, why that's why she's going to and the LA Guinea Pig Rescue. She's very young too. She's gonna go to the LA Guinea Pig Rescue. She's gonna have her babies. They'll be safe. No. Everyone will be safe. Yeah, she's like, it's like, this is like a makeshift rescue all of a sudden. This reminds me actually of like, there was, there was a, a fire season a couple months, a couple years ago at the guinea pig rescue. Uh -huh. And we had to move all the guinea pigs to the West Valley shelter. And in, in like a day, hundreds of them. And it was mm -hmm. just like, it was just like a pop-up rescue this in this, in this room. This one was that was rescued from the pet shop, and she wanted the three of them. Yeah, it's not. that's what I so thought too was, when I first saw her. She was collecting, though, these Which kills me, look. because then you're like, where did those go? Yeah, they're gone. They're gone. <sighs> look at that face. You know what you can also check for is bumblefoot. Yeah, there was a couple with with red these ones. But if I left after these ones are done. But you can check and see if there's open sores. No, like there's not. if it's red, you can generally put some ointment on there. If it's um starts to get busted open, mm -hmm. then Yeah. You don't deserve this. Is that her? Mm -hmm. Okay. What's the question about her? She had, um, like, hey, 
I'm not sure if it was just really <laughs> fungus on her nose. Her nose was all yucky, but it's Oh, yeah, better. I see it. It is still fungusy. It's a lot better than it did it yesterday. Does, yeah. My gosh. She's a fuzzy one. Yeah, that's ring ringworm. Is it? Yeah. Just wash your hands. Um, <laughs> head, and, head and shoulders. We have it. Okay. And uh, any athlete's foot or antifungal cream. It'll do wonders. She's so cute, She's though. Spot yeah. Well, that's actually normal. Boy over there. The bald spot behind the ears is totally normal. Look her over. If you look at her underside. Oh yeah. What happened? Where's so that one we separate? Oh. Her? No, it's fine. I mean, Maybe eventually they'll all get bad. Side. We wrote it on the card. Yeah, are. look at these ones. Yeah. These ones are already trimmed, but these are yes. very bad. You're going to feel so much better. Yeah. I don't feel like she's ever had her nails trimmed. Oh, my God. Probably not. She's probably about eight months old. Don't leave. There we go. Look at how much nail. Yeah. It's like six months worth of nail growth. Yeah. Okay, let's see the front. It, uh, surprisingly, though, look how short the well, front. This but, one. Oh, yeah. No. That one's corkscrewed. Yeah. Okay. But she's young. Look at these baby feet. Yep. She's probably six months old. Mm -hmm. With a big pregnant belly. Look at this. Look. Yeah. So we just left Anne's, and I mean, the first thing is just, she's so sweet, her family's so nice, they, I just, there's not enough words to describe how welcoming they are, how welcoming they were to us, they fed us, <laughs> and they're just caring for all these animals, they really saved all these piggies' lives, we got to meet some of her uh, rescue foster dogs and uh, just wanted to kind of recap or put a button on this first part um, main thing is that those girls are going to go to the rescue um, on Wednesday and I'm going to put a fundraiser down at the bottom, right here at the bottom under this video, because what the only way that these piggies are going to get the care that they need is uh, Sasuke is going to have to extend the hours of the employees or um, figure out ways to get all this extra work done the piggies are going to need. There's going to be a bunch more cages that need to be cleaned. You know, a lot of these piggies are going to be on health watch. They're all on pregnancy watch. Many of them have ringworm and they're extremely emaciated. Um, but everybody's pulling together to make it happen. We have... Uh, Valerie took a skinny boy that we're going to nurse... Um, who didn't look, he didn't look too good. What, what's his situation like? He has got a lot of skin issues, most likely from fighting. Um, he was showing signs of pain and just distress, so I felt that he needed um, just some, probably some critical care, some pain meds, some attention to his skin lesions. Um, he's got a pretty bad wound on his back. And we can just watch him a little bit closer to assess how he's doing. Yeah, Ian's doing so much um, yeah. that this is just one less pig off of her plate. Yeah. Oh, when we were there, there was one mama that looks like she could have babies any minute now. But they'll all be on pregnancy watch for, you know, 70 days from now. Yeah. At least. Yeah. So... Yeah, the main thing, I mean, I, I 
I always want to share situations like this because it's what's happening in our community um, and we want to lead by example and, and we want to raise awareness about a lot of what's going on as a cautionary tale but really we need to help Saskia who without batting an eye said she would take all the girls you know and it's already crisis mode and she just didn't even hesitate she just said that you know the rescue's struggling and we need to try to raise funds I'm going to see what I can do about giving a a big donation but you know Rescues every day are struggling to make ends meet, to survive, and it just seems that it takes some kind of horrible thing for people to re-engage. And, uh, I mean, I totally understand, and we're not always in a position to give. feel very privileged that my patrons and the channel members and everybody who donates to my animal rescue efforts, I can then pass that along to where I see that it's needed most. It's not just for my rescue efforts, for my driving and, and volunteering, but you know, oftentimes I'll get a donation through PayPal and then the same day, I'll see somebody in our community posting that there's a pig that needs surgery or some really sad situation, and I'll just send that money right along. So thank you guys for all of being able to empower me to do that. Um, but we also, we need fosters. It's, it never ends. Check out my worldwide rescue list. Uh, just because this is happening here, scenarios like this are happening all across the country, probably all across the world. So wherever you are in your own backyard, if there's a way that you can step up, please. This video showed the, uh, the other side of this scenario. It showed from when the good started happening, but there was tragedy and heartbreak before Anne acted, you know, a lot of these animals were just in a really bad place. Not getting care that they needed, not being fed, being put in, in horrible situations. And so even though when we show up, it looks like everything's handled, that's because of the hard work of so many people. And in this case, Anne stepped up and took these animals from harm's way and another 24 hours and they would have been shuffled into a van and, and who knows what the outcome could have been. And so we're gonna keep an eye on this story. Uh, I really wanted to limit what we talked about to this specific situation because of a potential ongoing investigation and whatever may be happening which we don't want to interfere with. But like I said, we really need to help Saskia, who is gonna be the one to absorb all, you know, 20 of these guinea pigs that are all pregnant and then have to find them homes. And the ones that don't get adopted, she's going to have to feed, you know, house, take care of for years and many of the animals that she takes in. It's years and years. So, there's many ways that you can support the Los Angeles Guinea Pig Rescue and I'm grateful for all of you guys who have done that for so long. Um, but I'll put a direct fundraiser at the bottom under here. So, yeah. do you have anything else? I, I appreciate Saskia so much um, for agreeing to take it. Uh, 20 girls um, that's huge that's huge and, and now we've got to try to find the boys placement in that job
job's much easier knowing that these girls are safe. Yeah. It's, it's huge. Yeah. All right, so this is ongoing. And, uh, you know, I'm, I will be sharing what I can in videos, but my Patreon is probably the best way to stay up to date minute by minute. In the chat there, people are always asking questions, and I do my best to answer them uh, in a timely fashion. So, if you want to hop on there, there's a free membership, uh, or there's other levels that get you access and discount to my Etsy shop and things like that. But you can join the Patreon community for free and uh, be part of the conversation. All right, thank you guys. I know this was a, a long one and a not the typical video, but I don't want to edit this thing. I just wanted to capture what we could and share the information that we had. So uh, if you're a little confused as to what happened, that's just the way it has to be right now because we're all still learning and there's an ongoing investigation. But just know that Anne and her family stepped up and saved 40 guinea pigs from a really really bad emergency situation and then Saskia without batting an eye said that she would take all the females which just so happened to be about half of them and uh, we're all we're all doing the best we can so uh, stay tuned and uh, hit that bell notification so you get alerted to the next video. All right, thanks for watching you guys.